morning, Claire. Hey, Serena. Will you ever take this plastic off? It's practical. Ugh. It's been on so long, it's starting to turn yellow. No, it's not. Oops. <gasps> Careful. Mm. Oh. Now you see why it's good to have? Relax. Why don't you sit at the counter with me? Why? The couch is just as easy to clean up. How was school last night? It's night school. I mean, by the end of the day, I'm not sure much sticks. So then why bother? Your dance career is good. Not suitable enough, according to my family. How are things at the hospital? Anything new? Same. Speaking of, I actually gotta run. I'm gonna be late. Mm. Don't forget about my performance tonight. It starts at seven. I'll be there. Good morning, Mr. Samuelson. He just came for you. Gorgeous, aren't they? What are you people doing about the pain I'm in? Uh, the doctor's just waiting on the test results. Which ones? I've been poked a dozen times already. I'll let you know as soon as the doctor hears back from the lab. In the meantime, you can enjoy these beautiful flowers. I don't oh. like them. Out of my way. I have to pee. Careful. An admirer, Claire. You're Mr. Samuelson, so he doesn't want them. <laughs> Older men, huh? You know you're not supposed to date the patients. I'll take care of that. Thanks, Jonathan. No problem. Has anyone heard from Maria? Nope. Isn't she supposed to be back for maternity leave on Monday? Hope so. Do you think Maria is really quitting? Maybe the rumors are true. Oh. You don't know that. Are maybe. we talking to you? I'm gonna go make a trip down to HR. You have time to chew. Mm. You know, if I'm a minute late back from break, Lena makes a federal case. Would you solve that hole? Mm. I mean, it's better enough to see Whitney do anything possible they can jump on. I didn't on think me. that humans could swallow something that big. Humans are capable of a lot. Whoa. <clears throat> well, you gotta spit that back out and then chew it again? <laughs> Who does that? Cows. Uh, they give me my point. Hey, you have to enjoy life every now and then. I do. So, how's your shift going? Oh, it's pretty quiet so far. I envy you. Have you tried bribery? Maybe Lena will ease up then. No, she likes to keep me under her thumb. Sometimes I think about quitting. Sure. Yeah, you didn't work hard for that nursing degree anyway. I'm just saying. Hey, you'd miss the patients. Better keep your chin up, all right? Besides, Maria will be back soon, right? No, it feels like the same layout as last time. So tell Mike he has to stop messing with the concept of clean space. Peyton, she's doing okay. Poor girl's just so tired. Yeah. Okay, keep me posted. All right, bye. Hi. Hey. Hey, we're just gonna check your vitals. Okay? Okay. So I heard your appendectomy went well. Um, the surgeon said it was pretty messy. That's why we're gonna keep her on some heavy antibiotics for a while. Oh. I'll be right outside, okay? Hello. Uh-huh. Finally. How are you feeling? Uh, lousy. Well, when the doctor took out your appendix, he also had to take out the infection. And then when the appendix burst, the infection spread everywhere. So it can be a little tricky. Am I gonna be okay now? Yeah, in a few days you'll feel better. But you just let me know how you're feeling, okay? Okay, thanks. Do you dance? Oh, uh, yeah. My friend's a dancer. I'm actually gonna see your dance tonight at the Metropolitan Center. Really? Um, oh, I wanna dance there someday. Well, then I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Okay. <sighs> there you are. The patient in room 412 just threw up. Oh, my shift is over. And I have somewhere to be. Wasn't that your patient? Huh. So, unless you want a bad performance review on your file, you'll go clean it up. Quite late. I know, sorry. Your seat's in the balcony, you can take the elevator over there. So 
Smells good. Yeah, it's for the reception after the performance. Oh, I hope I didn't mess much. My friend's one of the dancers and got me a ticket. Whoa, 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 hold up. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Yeah, just stop. It's no big deal. Well, why aren't the lights turning on? Maybe it's an electrical problem. Is there an emergency phone? No, just a button. Hey guys. Oh, I think I'm gonna pass out. No, 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 here, sit down. Okay. Okay. Ah, I can't breathe. Oh, we're running out of air. No, we're not, just breathe. Are you claustrophobic? Oh, no. Sure? No. Just slow down. Breathe in and out. Again, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll get a hold of someone. Again, it's okay. Come on. Ah, uh, no signal. Oh, <laughs> oh. Easy. Easy. Hello? We're gonna be trapped in here forever. I doubt it. Someone will come looking for us. <sighs> well, that stands shut. Well, it sounds like the performance is still going on. Yeah, everyone's still inside. Let's see how long the battery lasts. Well. At least we won't go hungry. <clears throat> Middle one's worth a hundred points, right? Yep, okay, my turn. Oh, 50 points! What are you up to now? 410 to 320. Sorry. You know, can I just use a meatball? Nope, too easy. Shrimp. Why not? We can say shrimp are worth more points. You're just looking for an easy way to catch up. You know, my hands smell like shrimp. Yeah, dude, the whole elevator smells like shrimp. Here. Thank you. So, what brought you here tonight? Your dance performance? Yeah, but, but why? My friend got me a ticket. You? I got invited as a, uh, a work courtesy, I guess. My boss got tickets from one of the sponsors. I just had to get out and stretch my legs. Well, that kind of backfired. Yeah. Which... I think the performance is over now. Hello? Someone in there? Help! Please? We're stuck in here! Oh, hang on. Help! Please, someone save us! How many are in there? Uh, three of us. Is everyone okay? No! Yes! We'll get help. Thank you! <laughs> We're so Saved. <laughs> so what was the performance tonight? Swan Lake. Weren't you watching? Yeah, just not real familiar with ballet. It's a modern dance version. <laughs> Actually, uh, you caught me. I was nodding off a bit. I had to step out and get some fresh air. <laughs> you guys really want to appease your new boss to come to something you're not interested in. You know, you gotta make a good impression. I think you've been gone long enough that your boss probably thinks you're skipping out. Probably right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> if you could be anywhere else right now, where would it be? Mm, does time matter? Uh, no, guess not. Then I'd be here. Well, not in here, but watching the performance with my mom. And so why does time matter? Uh, she passed away a few years ago, but she was really into arts and culture. Said I didn't appreciate it enough, but she would have really liked this. How'd she pass? Uh, she got sick. It's a long process. What about you? Where would you be? In my studio. Studio? Musician or artist or... Art, if you can call it that. I just enjoy painting. It's relaxing. I wasn't expecting that. What were you expecting? Gardening? <laughs> no, just something more... Manly? Predictable. Oh, I don't mind you thinking I'm not predictable. <laughs> you know, I really wasn't expecting much out of tonight, you know. Some work, shaking hands, being bored. 
Mm, dance is not boring. You know, it wasn't my first choice. I'm glad I came. You're glad you got stuck in here? Glad I got stuck in here with you. Yeah. You know, when we get out of here, I'd like to see you again. Okay, help me with the door. <sighs> Oh, thank you. Sorry about the inconvenience. Luke! There you are. Sorry, got delayed. Dr. Fredericks? Stuck here? Uh -huh. It's not much of a welcome, I'm afraid. Hi! <laughs> here you are. What did you think? Did you see that one mistake I, I made in the first act? No, no, I didn't. Gotta be starving, though. Come on, I've got reservations at a great restaurant nearby. Let's go. I want to introduce you to the other dancers. Oh, hold on just one moment. Sorry you missed the show. Me too. Oh, hey, can you sign this? It'll mean a lot to this girl at the hospital. Sure. Hopefully you can see it another night, though. I'll try. Oh. Being stuck in an elevator. It gives me the willies. That wasn't all that bad. I met someone. Who? What's his name? Uh, Luke, I think. You think? Uh, well, we didn't really like, exchange names or numbers or anything. It was probably nothing, but it was nice. Nice, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fredericks? Claire, Mr. Samuelson will be discharged today. Negative on a heart attack? Mm hmm What's going on? I have no idea. All right, let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to a new doctor on the team. This is Dr. Luke Taylor. For now, why don't you just each give your name? April Park. Whitney Clayson. Kelly Workman. Um, Claire Abbott. Rob Smith. Stanley Patel. Lindsay Hansen. Uh, Lena Wiley, head nurse. She's filling in for someone who just gave their notice. You meet all the others as the schedules change. Great. It's nice to meet everybody. Dr. Taylor, I am so excited for you to be here with us. Uh, yeah, I am too. Excuse me. There's something about a man in a white coat. Mm. Add something, doesn't it? Yeah, like a million to our married filing jointly tax return. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was the performance? I didn't get to see it. But I brought this for you. Cool. Who signed it? Her name's Serena. She's one of the dancers. Oh, thanks. Why didn't you go? I did go. I got stuck in an elevator, so I missed the performance. <laughs> no way. Sadly, yes, but it's okay. One day I'll get to see a performance there, and maybe you'll be on stage. <laughs> hey, Dr. Taylor. Hi. We're so lucky to have you here. I would love to buy you a drink to welcome you. Thanks, but I'm working late tonight. Okay, another time then. Dr. Taylor? Yes? Um, I wanted to introduce myself. Claire. Yes, we actually uh, met before. Look, I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? I didn't come here for this. I came here to work and to help people get better, so let's just bypass the whole hit on the new doctor thing, okay? Sure. Thought I smelled something good. You're ready. What's wrong? Nothing. Liar. You bake when you're upset. That guy I met the other night, 
He works at the hospital. Excellent. He blew me off when I tried to talk to him today. Oh, jerk. Did he recognize you? I mean, you were really dressed up that night and the elevator was dark. I don't know, it didn't seem like it, but he wasn't even civil when I tried to talk to him. Maybe I just made it into more than it was. It was just one evening anyways. Are you sure? Maybe he had a reason for being rude. Or he didn't feel the same when he saw who I really am. Either way, with the whole way he acted, I mean, I'm better off, right? The whole elevator thing, just a moment. And that's all. So, what do you think? It's a good hospital. Yesterday went okay? Yeah, yeah. Nice people, interesting patients. You know about Mrs. Godfrey, right? The glioblastoma case? Uh, no, what about her? She's a major donor to the hospital. She was checked in this morning just to make sure she's as comfortable as possible for as long as she wants to stay. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Hi. Oh, hey, um, you mind if I get started on the floor? Whatever you need to do. You want me to throw that away for you? Uh, no, thanks. Luke, Taylor. Hey, um, nice to meet you. Most docs like to throw in their title when they introduce themselves. That seems a little, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how long you worked here for? Oh, about five years. You know, it's stable. And, uh, things always need cleaning. Kind of like fixing people. I like your thinking. It's nice to meet you, uh, Jonathan. All right. See you around, Doc. <sighs> you should totally apply for that job. I don't think they'll see me as head nurse material. Look, you're organized, you're efficient, you care about patients. What more do they need? Well, I could say the same about you. Why don't you apply? Not interested in being management. I actually filled out an application last night. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Turn it in. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. You do that enough for the both of us. I'm just saying, I don't have any connections to HR. You don't need connections if you're the right one for the job. I'm just saying, odds aren't in my favor. Uh-oh. Being summoned by Lena. Let me see that application again. Thanks. I'll turn this into HR on my way out. Stanley! Hey, you won't do it otherwise. Dr. Taylor? I heard the hospital food isn't that great. Is this like a taste your alternative? Um, yeah. Look. Sorry for snapping at you yesterday. There was just a lot of new faces, some really, really awkward flirting and come on. So I'm interested in someone else anyway. Just caught me off guard. Took my frustration out on you and you didn't deserve it. It's okay. It's just, you know, when I'm working, I need to focus and work. I've worked hard to be a nurse. Focus is all I have. Great. Thank you for understanding. That didn't come out right, did it? Yeah, apologies are not my strength. Because <laughs> you don't mess up often, or you just don't apologize? Probably the second. <laughs> you can skip the apology. Lena! What is it? Did you hear about Claire? No, tell me. I just found out. She applied for the job. It doesn't matter. They won't pick her. How do you know that? I'll make sure of it. Claire, did you hand out those warming blankets to room 414, 417? Yes, all tucked in. And the new IV bag for Mrs. Godfrey. It's done. Mr. Samuelson wants a bath. Go see to it. All 
these visits add up. Meanwhile, who's paying for it? I swear, it's how you all pay for yourselves by giving me no information so that I have to keep coming back. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. No, not another one. Both Dr. Fredericks and Dr. Taylor agree that we need updated blood work. Oh, okay. Two docs agree, so now I should be a human pincushion. Mr. Samuelson, if you just hold still, it'd be able really quick. No. More tests mean more costs. And all you do is tell me what I don't have. Last time, some little girl missed my vein three times. That's three. She has a terrible bedside manner. Arm, and it stings like a lot. Claire, no, stop it. No. Hey, Lena. We're understaffed for the night shift, and you drew the short straw. It happens a lot. Clock's ticking. I'll be right up. But what's this long face about, Mr. Starbuck? Will thou not chase the great white whale? Art not game for Moby Dick? Mrs. Godfrey. I am game for his crooked jaw and for the jaws of death, too, Captain Ahab. If it fairly comes in the way of business we follow. Mrs. Godfrey. Doc, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just so enthralled with my book. I, I just love Jane Eyre. You know that Mr. Rochester, he just. Isn't that Moby Dick? <laughs> Moby Dick. Whoops. Chocolate? No, thanks. Mrs. Godfrey, I wanted to talk about your condition. You want me to reconsider? The tumor is growing. And with the second one that appeared, there isn't time to waste. Now, there are treatment centers that specialize yeah, in... but my odds aren't great. No. Well, I've had a good life. Better than most. I hate to see you coming back here just for us to be treating symptoms. That's not so bad. I've got great company. Have you gotten to know Claire here? She's quite a catch. Uh, yes. <laughs> Mrs. Godfrey, you just leave this to me. I'm gonna go fill up your water, okay? Now you see that? She is so attentive and thoughtful. When you find someone special, you don't let them go. About time to head home, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of like working when it's quiet. Good day today? Yeah. That didn't sound too convincing. It's fine, I just, uh, I'm mulling over something one of my patients said to me. Uh, well, what do they say? When you find someone special, don't let them go. Seems like good common sense to me. Yeah, well, easier said than done in my case. Well, why is that? I don't know. Sorry to bug you. Don't let them go. What? Well, it just uh, seems simple enough. I mean, it just means you, you do whatever you can to, to keep whoever it is we're talking about in your life. What if I don't know how? Find a place to start. Hi, right, Jonathan. Yes, ma'am. Those tickets should arrive in your inbox in about 10 minutes or so. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm, uh, I, I was here the other night for the Swan Lake performance and I was looking for someone I met. Name? <laughs> no, if I knew that, I'd... Is there a, a list of who bought tickets, maybe? Yes, but we can't release that information. Privacy policy. Well, I'm just looking for one person. A, a woman, if that helps. <laughs> Right, that doesn't sound creepy at all. <clears throat> um, I, I could describe her, if that's better. It would if I knew her too. Do you know her? She's, she's got 
long hair and... Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> if there's nothing else, sir, I really need to get... Is there anything you... Metropolitan Center, sales office, how can I help you? Got it. Oh, yeah. Last night's blood results show her white blood cell count up a bit. She been eating and drinking? I checked with the night shift. She had a milkshake, some water. How you doing, Peyton? We're gonna draw some more blood, okay? Okay. Is your mother around? Uh, she had to work for a bit. Claire's gonna look after you then, okay? as soon as the lab results come in. I will. Infection? Let's see how bad. I'm just hoping it's not an abscess. Am I gonna be okay? You will be. We'll make sure of it. Okay. Clive and I would dance the whole night through. He's very light on his feet. Not bad for a man who was six foot five. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> When are you going to sweep a woman off her feet? You're a bright young man. You know, I think I just need to find the right person. What about Claire? She's a catch. I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Take her out. I won't take no for an answer. Mrs. Godfrey, I really... Promise me. I do. You at least look at these treatment options. Deal. I intend to follow up with her, so make sure you hold up your end of the agreements. Fine. Read those. Hey, Claire. Dr. Taylor? So, I made this deal with Mrs. Godfrey. Okay. And it kind of involves you. How? Well, I agreed to take you out if she would look at some treatment options. Wow. So, what do you say? Want to grab a bite to eat after your shift? Um, sure. I mean, if it'll help Mrs. Godfrey. Great. So what brought you to this hospital? You know, I like the area. I just needed a change of scenery. Where'd you move from? Cincinnati. So how do the hospitals compare? About the same. Smaller, which is nice. You know, larger the hospital, more administration, more headaches, no worries. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. You ever worked anywhere other than here? No. Well, they take my word for it. I can actually talk to the patients here. And make deals with them. <laughs> You know, I don't know if it's the tumor that explains Mrs. Godfrey's behavior or... Or it's, it's just her? Yeah, well, she's your biggest fan. I'm sure that's the tumor's influence. I don't think so. So, uh, why'd you choose to be a nurse? Um, uh, probably because of my mom. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, I just thought my parents just expected me to go to med school, so I just kind of went along with their plans, but I actually started wanting to after a while. So what made you change how you feel? Medicine, science, I just I find it also fascinating. And the paycheck doesn't hurt either. <laughs> I'm going on my break. No, I just have one quick question. We don't keep customer social security numbers either. <laughs> no, I was wondering who the caterer was for the Swan Lake opening night. Why? I am looking for a caterer, and I really like their food. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. Oh, great. Do they use the same waiters every time? I mean, you know, because the, the service is really good too, that's all. I don't work for the caterer, sir. How would I know? Yeah, of course. Thanks. You just pick from here whatever you want. I want a cheeseburger. Where's that on the menu? Well, Dr. Fredericks has you on a liquids-only diet. Why? 
He doesn't know what's wrong with me, and I'm not starving so that he can keep guessing. Well, you're hungry, that's a good sign, and I'll let him know. But for now, you have to choose from here until he says otherwise. Soup. Mm-hmm. Jello. Mm-hmm. There's also popsicles. You get that twit on the phone right now and tell him I want real food. Mr. Samuels. Now what? Oh, my. I want meat, not soup. Yes, Mr. Samuels. Look here. You don't have to treat her like that. Mind your own business. I will when you start acting your age. Really? Throwing a tantrum like a toddler? Get out. When you shape up, I'll get out. Fine. You be nice. I saw that young man. Now that's much better. You know, you don't have to be miserable. But it is your choice. Will you just leave already? Dr. Taylor? Hey. <clears throat> you alive? Yeah, I just finished a long shift. I know how that goes. Uh, Chip? Sure. Thank you. You can make it home, all right? Yeah. I'm fine. So, rough day then? Yeah. No, not really, just had this one patient, partial paralysis, ended up not being what I feared, but it uh, just reminded me of a patient I had a while ago. What happened? Nothing. All right, well, I'll uh, see you later. Get some rest. I made a bad call. The old case. Left the patient paralyzed from the waist down. And no one blames me and says it was just a fluke, but uh, still. Anyway, that's, that's what I was reminded of today. Yeah, sorry. It's hard to let go of. Sorry I had to go through that. No, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I should leave work at work and all that. Thanks. Being new around here, it's, it's nice to have someone to talk to. Anytime. So how was work? Same. Can I ask your advice on something? That's never happened before. Have you ever led yourself on about a guy? I'm a woman. Of course I have. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Yes, but I didn't really think about it until after I was over him. So could I just be imagining that there's something between us? Who? Dr. Luke? I thought you said he was a jerk. He's not. I mean, I see him every day now, and I've gotten to know him better. And I still think about that night. Maybe he still thinks about you, too. He told me a while ago that he's interested in someone else. I think he only sees me as a nurse now. But then why are we spending all this time together? I mean, that has to mean something, right? I think so. See, this is why you don't normally come to me for advice. You want a distraction? I'm great at those. For example, 
Did you see my birthday list I texted you? No. Gift card for textbooks, pedicure, cute skirt I saw at the mall. It's very kind of me. Now you don't have to waste time getting creative. Right, I gotta get going. Have a good rehearsal. My birthday is just a few days away, so I won't forget. <laughs> All right, now take a big breath for me. Good. One more. Are the antibiotics working? Not as well as I'd like, but can we speak outside? Yeah. That's not good, huh? Probably not. What's wrong? It looks like the infection is spreading. I'm putting her on prostacycline. Page me if you see any fluctuations in the blood pressure. Can do another blood draw, but she's going on another antibiotic in the meantime. You don't want to wait for blood results? We don't have time. If this keeps up, we'll have to go back in surgically. Claire. Hey, you off? Yeah, but I just heard something. HR set a date. So whoever they choose for head nurse begins at the end of the month. Really? Yeah. Claire, straighten out the supply closet. I can never find what I want when I need it. You're leaving? I have plans. Just keep things in order. Just because I'm gone doesn't mean we slack around here. Oh, there's also the party coming up, the fundraiser for the hospital. It's going to be divine. That sounds really... I'd like as much of the staff as possible to have a chance to go, so you'll cover that night. Hi, Mr. Samuelson. Who's that from? Me. They're... bright. Are they okay here, or do you want me to move yeah, somewhere yeah. else? How are you feeling today? Well, they tell me I've got something called pericarditis. But why? They don't know. They just want to keep an eye on my heart. That's frustrating, huh? Have you ever been in the hospital? I mean, sick. Uh, not sick, but yeah. Who? Uh, my mom. Did you die? Yeah. The doctors do anything? They did what they could. Then it took forever to figure it out. Yeah, sometimes it does. <sighs> Meanwhile, the clock is still ticking. You get sicker because they don't have answers. Yeah. Well, can I get you anything? New batteries. That clock has stopped. How was your shift? It was okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm just thinking about Mr. Samuelson. Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm just going to clear my head. I think a walk will help. Do you want to come along? Yeah, sure. So, you close with your family? They're about three hours away. It helps so I don't have to come to family dinners all the time. What's wrong with family dinner? Uh, the frequent discussions about my parents' recent health problems. Can't tell you how nice it is to have dinner without someone concerned about someone's bowels. Oh, come on. I'm sure you have friends that pull the same thing. True. I just avoid those ones if I can. Aw, oh, cute. Custom t-shirts. Mm. You need something for your teddy bear? I'm not much of a teddy bear person. How about tiger? Mm, probably the turtle. Yeah, not what I expected. Actually, I was thinking about getting one for Peyton. Oh, the appendicitis case. Yeah, but not the turtle. What do you think? Yeah, she seems like a penguin person. So what will you uh, put on the t-shirt? Hmm, something like... How about, it's not a bomb, it's an appendix. Maybe something more comforting. Uh... How about, uh, hugs welcome? Only if it's followed with, squeeze gently, post-op patient. <laughs> I like it. Mm. 
Can I ask you something? Sure. The other day, you mentioned that you made a bad call. Uh, bad. Why does it bother you so much? My old man lost the use of his legs. Right. But you're an experienced doctor. You've had plenty of patients enough to know that things don't go right all the time. So why did that bother you so much? Well, no one challenged me that day. No one offered a different point of view or a solution. And it wasn't their job to, but I swear I could see it on their faces. The whole team in the room with me. I just wish someone would have said something. Anyway, who knows if I even want to listen. And you're right. Things don't always go as planned. I gotta go to the hospital. Everything okay? It's Peyton. What's happening? I, I don't know, but I better go find out. Sh should I? Uh, no, 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 no. Go home. You're off today. Well, here, give this to her. You have to be more specific. With Peyton, her mother, she's- Bawling her eyes out. Yeah, don't get involved. We're not therapists, Claire. Hi. I love the penguin. Oh, good. Um, how are you feeling? Um, the medicine was making me feel weird, but Dr. Taylor came and changed something last night. I feel way better now. Great. Your mom, she's down the hall. Yeah, um, her boss sent her an email and she got demoted. She's not taking it well. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm looking for a particular waiter who is working the Swan Lake opening performance at the Metropolitan Center. Um, no, no, um, I just, I, I spent some time with them and, um, hello? Hello? <sighs> Try that again. <clears throat> hello, I'm Dr. Taylor from Regional Medical and I have a party I'm hosting soon. Uh, I heard good reviews about your catering, and, well, I have some questions about your company first, if that's all right. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Just uh, have someone call me back. Thank you. Bye. Sounds like somebody's having a dinner party. Uh, no, not really, just uh, doing whatever I can to hang on to someone. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that. I get the feeling I'm missing part of that story. Yeah, a bit. Well, you know, it takes me an average of eight minutes to clean this break room, so... If you want to, let me help. Is that sour-faced lady still running the show? Nina? That's its name? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I didn't want that one in here, so... Thanks. No problem. Do you get rashes like this often? Yeah, every now and then. It's the dry air, or eczema, or whatever. Hmm. Luke. Oh, hey, I was just leaving you off work yet. Uh, soon, I have some things to finish up still. Um, Mr. Samuelson has some red patches on his skin. Okay. They weren't there before. Where? His leg. Patches could be... Consistent with lupus. Or just eczema. Well, you and Dr. Fredericks think that he has perigarditis, right? With good reason. Which is also a symptom of lupus. There are a hundred things it could be, okay? But a rash doesn't change anything. Right, but with his symptoms and his history... It could... Claire, thanks for taking the initiative, but I think we got a hand. Yeah. We gotta take this. Hello? Thank you for calling me back. Thanks for meeting me. Happy birthday. 
that you're celebrating over lunch with your family. Oh, I couldn't take them dropping hints about single men and school and my dance hobby. Sorry. So what did they think about the dance performance? Oh, none of them came. Ouch. Is that for me? Yep. This doesn't feel like anything on my birthday list. A gift certificate for a career interest test. This one's supposed to be the best one. I thought I could help you figure out night school and all that. Gee, you shouldn't have. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I remember you. Heard you were looking for me. Well, actually, I'm looking for the woman that was stuck with us. I thought you might know something about her. You didn't get her number? No, not before she left, and I, uh, no, I wish. Look, that was the first time I've seen her. I thought you for sure would with the way you two were flirting. Yeah? Oh, yeah. No, worst night of my life. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, do you remember anything about her? Didn't even catch her name. Although... The what? She did say she came with a friend. Yeah, well, I don't know who that is either. Oh, no, that's not my point. You're assuming that her friend's a girl? What if it's a guy? Well, she specifically said friend, though. <laughs> Girls do that. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying she could be taken, is all. Right. Oh, wait. She did say one of the performers gave her her tickets. Really? What, one of the dancers? I guess so. Could still be a guy, buddy. there? Something like that. Hey, I'm sure you've heard we're looking for a new head nurse. I'm narrowing down the candidates, but I'd love for you to weigh in on it. Sure. When? Uh, let's talk about it soon. There's a lot going on with the hospital fundraiser, but I'd like to make a decision after that. No problem. Yeah. Claire. Hey, uh, can I talk to you about something? Sure. You know, the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. He's not the usual lupus patient, but he's had attacks for several years. Whatever system was attacked, it smashed the real problem. Which attacks? He had a seizure one year, a few years later. Kidney problems, arthritis, but you know that alone probably didn't make anyone blink an eye. And now the pericarditis. And the skin rash. I'm gonna have Dr. Fredericks review everything, including the latest blood labs, but I think we haven't. You're right. You seem awfully excited about such a diagnosis. Well, it's not the greatest news, but it's a start. I mean, you should be able to go home soon after we run a few more tests and we can start managing the disease. Well, that is good news. I mean, he needed answers. Thanks to you, we have them. Not me. Yes, you. You spoke up, you said what you thought, and I brushed you off. I'm sorry. Thanks. You have a few minutes? Come on. So, this is my landlord's storage space, but he lets me use it for... Your paintings? Yeah. There was this doctor I knew, kind of my mentor. Back in medical school, he used to say that you have to find something to unwind, you know, do something that's totally different from your daily rounds. You'll go crazy. What kind of doctor was he? Surgeon. You know what his hobby was? Hacking at wood with a chainsaw. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the cutting without the pressure of precision. And this is my hobby. Kind of random. Yep. You, uh, wanna try? Changes in the air caught me Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day we're getting 
you're a natural. Come on. A little bit closer to your heart. A little bit longer till I start to fall for you. Yeah, I'm gonna fall for you. Oh, a little more time till I love you. A little bit closer to our dreams are coming true. I try. <laughs> Are these your finished pieces? Uh, yeah. Not bad. Liar, they're terrible. No, I like them, really. Yeah? Which one? This one. Why? The colors and the mood. It's like a light standing in the darkness. This one just a couple weeks ago. Mm. How long does it take you? This one just a weekend. It's beautiful. Oh, hold on, you got uh, you got a little paint. <laughs> uh oh. No, hold still. I, I got it. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. No, it's it's not. I, I don't want to make things. I should not have crossed that line. <clears throat> right. You know, with work. Yeah. It's not a good idea. I should go. It's just I'm kind of interested in someone else. Um. All right. You know, it kind of seems like you're interested in me too. I'll see you at work. Pretty sure I'm just making a mess of things. Sounds like it. I don't want to hurt Claire. Yeah, but you like her, you enjoy spending time with her. Yeah, but I can't stop thinking about this other woman. Yeah, right. Mystery elevator woman, right? Yeah. Sounds like you're holding out for what might have been. Yeah. Yeah, but what if you find her and she doesn't live up to what you've made her up to be in your mind? I don't know. But I have to try, right? Yeah. Move forward, then. Exactly. I mean, can't quit. I have to find out who she is, at least. Yeah. Well, I got to get back to work. Thanks, Jonathan. No problem. The only danger, though, is you might miss out on someone just as good. What if you never find her? What have you given up in the meantime? Don't worry. Not here for you today. Excuse me. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I have an odd but very uh, urgent question to ask everyone. Could I? Who are you? Luke. Luke Taylor. Consider me a um, concerned citizen. All right, everyone, listen up just a moment, please. It seems we have a guest. Hello. <laughs> I, uh, sorry for the interruption. I, uh, I'm searching for a woman. I met at the opening night performance. She, uh, she came with someone who is a dancer in the show. I, uh, I, I realize many of you probably had guests, I'm sure, but uh, she got stuck in the elevator that night. Did anyone happen to hear that from a friend or guest that night? Anyone? Please? We need to start rehearsal. Of course. 
Sorry for the interruption. Okay, let's get going. I'm sorry I'm late. Hey, hey, Doc. So you letting it go? Yeah, well, I kind of hit a dead end. Just don't know what else to do. All right, that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Are you sure? Thanks. Don't worry. Whew. You all set for the uh, fundraiser tomorrow night? I got my tux ready to go. I'm gonna warn you, they're gonna trot you around like a prize pony. All the doctors are. <laughs> oh no, I get it. We are what makes this hospital seem special. <laughs> yep. Just don't be surprised if you have to shake a few hands and smile for the camera. Well, I'll make sure I don't have anything in my teeth. <laughs> Good choice. It's just a bit of a chill. It's nothing. You know as well as I do that another illness can make you take a turn for the worse. Well, would that be so bad? Is that why you don't want treatment? It's just death. I mean, a lot of my family and friends have gone through it. Why not me? What about your children? Yeah. They understand. They're prepared. Nothing can prepare anyone for seeing someone they love suffer. Hi, Mrs. Godfrey. Sorry. Come back when you're done. Well, that was deliciously awkward. Did things heat up between you? No. Well, he finally took you out, right? Yes. And? Nothing will come of it. Well, wait. The two of you just need to tell each other how you feel. I don't think Well, that. what about this fundraiser they keep hearing about? You know, nice party, romantic atmosphere. It won't matter. I have to work tonight. Besides, Luke told me that he's interested in someone else. What? Who could compete with you? This party is going to be amazing. Oh, besides your rounds, you'll need to fix the supply closet. Oh, I straightened it a few days ago. No, disaster. Also, it was really crazy earlier, so you'll need to finish sorting the day shift paperwork. And 418 needs help showering. The wound site keeps oozing. Oh, Dr. Fredericks asked to speak to me. Oh, guess I'll be finding out how much of a raise I'll be getting. Enjoy the party. We will. Oh, don't pout. It's just a party. Or is it more than that? Hmm. I've noticed you trying to ingratiate yourself to Dr. Taylor lately. You didn't think you really had a shot with him, did you? <laughs> Have a good night. Good evening, Miss Godfrey. Do you mind if I come in and clean? Of course. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Jonathan, um, do you know Claire? Um, the nurse? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Could I ask you to do a couple of favors? Okay. <laughs> you missed a spot. from Mrs. Godfrey. What does she want now? Ugh. Hello, dear. Hi. How are you? Good. What's 
nice shoe do you wear? Um, I'm seven. Oh. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Oh. I found a dress. Oh, no. What? That's not a dress, it's a nightgown. What's going on? Well, this is all they had in the gift shop that looked like a dress. Oh. Hey, guys, I was thinking, a lot of times patients leave things here and this stuff has been sitting in lost and found for months. I can see why. Well, there's more. How about this one? Oh, I like that one, it's shiny. Mm -hmm. It's gross. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. Oh, that one's really pretty. It's perfect. Oh, I hope the hospital has a return policy. And this will go with your shoes. Who's it for? Someone who needs a little help. Ah, oh, yes. <gasps> perfect. Don't wrinkle it. Move. Move. What are you three doing? Oh, watch it. It wasn't um, her fault. Hush. Are you excited for the party? What? You're going tonight. <laughs> what? I told her it was crazy. But crazy to a crazy person is normal. No one understood that. There's no excuses. You're going to the party tonight, and you're going to tell Luke how you really feel. Right, OK. Let me just take everyone back to their beds. Oh, no, I'm not budging until you agree to go. This is Godfrey. We mean it. All right, everyone. I'm here. Come on. What? Why? To cover your shift. You've got to hurry. Okay, thank you, everyone, but I can't just drop everything. Go. It's fine. This is your night off. I was just hanging out at home. Come on, don't you want to see him? Who? Dr. Taylor, keep up. Claire, I've, um, kind of gotten to know Dr. Taylor a little bit, and I know he has feelings for you. But I feel like I should warn you, he's, he's kind of hung up on this other woman. But it's, it's okay, I mean, he only met her once and it was at a, a dance performance or something, uh, but he hasn't stopped thinking about her since. Pass me the dress. Yes. You look fine. Thank you. How fine! Can I go back to bed now? Yeah, I gotta work. Don't put me in an elevator with you. It's all about diversity. Try this. Oh. You good? Yeah. <laughs> good. They do a pretty good job. I didn't think this through. No, you didn't. Hey, Lena. What are you doing here? Um. Hey, Lena. Hey. Great to see you. Great to see you. Let's catch up next week, okay? Hey. Hi. Wow, you look nice. Thanks. You too. Nice. Look, I'm sorry about the other night. Okay, I was just trying to figure some things out and I kind of dragged you into it. No, I get it. It's 
Just, um, I want to explain something, too. Okay. When we first met, I really liked you. And I thought that you felt something, too. And then later, when I tried to talk to you about it, you clearly didn't want anything to do with me. So I thought that was the end of it. And then over these past few days, I've seen again and again why I feel the way that I do. How dare you? What, what's going on? Nothing, I can explain. <laughs> okay, explain what? How you abandon your duty? And what about our patients? Stanley is- Claire's supposed to be working. And after everything I've done for you, Claire. What have you done for me besides put me down and make work difficult? I keep trying to protect you from making a mistake. The hospital provides excellent care because we make sure that we don't make mistakes. But this has gone too far. Stanley is covering my shift. Stanley? How selfish are you to interrupt his night off? How many times have I told you we work as a team? Luke, listen. Dr. Taylor Claire. And that is the last straw. I'm sorry. We have tried to shield you from Claire's obvious inappropriate interest in you. Don't even. You are only using him because you know he has a say-so in the head nurse job. What? What? No. Do you think that you can just blackmail him into giving you a job promotion? No. What? Okay, Claire, I have had enough of this. The hospital has had enough of your scheming. You're fired. No, maybe you should go. Luke, please. You're making a scene. Stand up for yourself. I tried. Not hard enough. Yeah. Can we just not? Come on. Think about it, Claire. You never. I work hard. Okay, that should be enough. You should have told Luke the truth. You should have stood up to Lena. You should. Can you just stop it, please? When are you going to do something? It's like this couch. Take the plastic off already. Take a risk that life might have a few wrong turns, but maybe that's how you get somewhere. You want to talk to me about getting somewhere? You've been taking night classes for years because you'd rather be safe than stand up to your family about dancing as a career. I mean, you're almost 30. You can choose for yourself. Hey, I get enough of this from my family. I don't need it from you. You know what? You don't deserve anything you're not willing to fight for. No, I just wanted to thank you for the shoes and say goodbye. Bye? Did something happen? It's just time to move on. Well, thanks for taking care of me. You must have been busy. Trying to worm your way into his heart, all for nothing. You should have seen Dr. Taylor. He was so betrayed. 
Well, we can get back to the way things should be now that you're out of here. What do you mean out of the way? Did you feel that threatened by me? You? Please. What was she thinking? She wasn't, just as well now. Do you think anyone will hire her? Don't know, don't care. <sighs> I almost feel bad for her. Why? Besides, she's probably already moved on to her next target. I just never thought of her as a gold digger. <laughs> Guess it shows you never really know someone. Nope. Whitney, <laughs> room 421, they buzzed again. There was a mishap with the bedpan. Wear gloves. Why me? This is Godfrey. Fool. Excuse me? I don't know how, but you screwed it up, haven't you? Men, just clueless, the whole lot of you. Mrs. Godfrey, why don't we just focus on your health? No. I could die tomorrow, and you know what? I'd be fine with that. I have no regrets. Can you say the same? I got breakfast. The jelly-filled kind. <laughs> wow. You did it. It's the one thing I can change on my own. Without the plastic, this is actually comfortable. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I took that career test. You did? Mm -hmm. I figured you were trying to find a way to return it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit school. You're kidding. <laughs> the test pointed to a performing arts career. I'm going to focus on dance. Instead of just doing it, I'm going to really make it work. No matter what anyone thinks. I'm happy for you. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, Mr. Samuelson, you ready to leave? It's about time. Hopefully we can help you manage your condition from now on. Where's Claire? Who? Get your face out of that thing. Claire. The nurse. The one who figured out what's wrong with me. Yes, she no longer works here. Let me check your vitals one more time before I sign those discharge papers. You canned her, didn't you? Well, it's not our policy to talk you about former... dim-witted idiot. Let me guess. You put that viper in charge instead. Well, we put the best... Do you have any idea what goes on around here? Maybe if you unglued that techno thing from your face, you'd see that she-devil out there. Can't be bothered to do any work herself. To her, patients are an inconvenience. And you let someone go who actually cared about people? Someone who paid more attention than you or anyone else to figure out what was wrong with me? <sighs> Just sign the papers and let me out of here.
Would you answer that already? It's the smelly guy in 415. <sighs> Do I have to? He's your assignment. Not anymore. You go handle him. Dr. Fredericks here. Um, listen, I, I think we made a mistake in how we handled things with you and also about the head nurse job. I'd like to talk to you about it. Why don't you give me a call back when you can? Thanks. Bye. Bye, Peyton. Take care, all right? Um, Dr. Taylor? Mm-hmm? What happened with Claire? Well, she, uh... Sometimes a person isn't who you think they are. Don't worry about it. Just go home and get some rest, okay? Hey, um... Where'd you get this? Claire gave it to me. She thought I like it since I'm a dancer. I heard it was pretty good. Claire wouldn't know. She got stuck in the elevator and missed it. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Claire told you that? Yeah. Take care of yourself, Peyton. Bye. Hi, this is Claire. Leave a message. Claire, uh, it's Luke. Listen, I have to talk to you. I'm so sorry about everything. Call me back, okay? Oh, these desserts look so good. I'm definitely saving room for the cheesecake. She still won't answer your calls, huh? Nope. Well, maybe you need to change your strategy. I mean, you come this far, you went through all that trouble just to find her. No, I'm not giving up. I just, I don't know what to. What you were saying? I need to get groceries. I don't cook, so I hardly go shopping. Well, for as much as you eat here, you might as well chip in. My version of cooking is takeout. Maybe it's a pizza delivery guy. Did you order pizza? Claire Abbott? Yes? Sign here, please. What is it? I have no idea. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who's it from? Luke. How do you know that? I totally deserve the worst you can think about me. But if you're willing, meet me where a stuffed turtle can buy us some clothes. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Do you get that? Wait, are you thinking of going? I don't know. How do you feel about it? You've been dodging his calls. I mean, I was really mad, and then I was hurt, but even with that, I miss him. I think that's your answer. I'll order pizza. Hi. Hi, um... Be right with you. Wait.
bears are overrated anyway? Not said at all. I'm really glad you came. Why did you, why am I here? Because I realized I was blind and spineless. I let what others said cloud what I knew about you. I'm sorry. If I could take it back. No, I, I understand why. It doesn't make it right. You know the painting? I didn't tell you about why I painted it. You see, there was this unusual night I had. I got stuck in an elevator with a claustrophobic waiter and an intriguing mystery woman. It was, uh, <laughs> I was left enchanted. And then I missed my chance to find out who she was. So I, I went home that night and I started painting. You're right, the light in the darkness, that's you, lighting the darkness of the elevator. I thought that was our cell phone that did that. But I didn't know it was you. I spent so much time trying to do everything I could to find out who that mystery woman was because there was something so special about her. And then I met you at the hospital. You challenged me when I needed to challenge you. And you listened, and you cared. And I wanted to be with you. And I fell in love with you. I figured out I am the stupidest luckiest man because here I've been trying to figure out how to stay true to how I feel about two remarkable women only to learn it's one and the same say something Claire Remember, you're the champion of the elevator shrimp tosses. <laughs> what about the hospital? You know, I, I can explain. I can that handle that plan. I'll check in on you again in the morning. This is Godfrey. Where are you headed off alone? Oh, the gift shop. I need a new book to read. Yeah, hey, I can take her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh, <sighs> stupid flimsy catheter bags. <sighs> oh. Whitney? When a patient calls in, just consider it a brief break from sitting behind this desk. Nurses station. Have a nice shift. Thank you. Better hurry. It's nice during his last performance of Swan Lake. Yeah, hopefully this time we'll actually get to see it. Maybe we should take the stairs. Oh, I don't know. Getting caught in the elevator wasn't all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> 